All right, our last lesson on trigonometry is we're going to continue with our special angles, and we're going to look at a few different ones. But before we do that, let's quickly review our basic 30, 45, and 60 triangles. So remember, with a 45, we would get our sine and cosine would be 1 over root 2, and our tangent is 1 over 1, which would just be 1. So that's our special one that we want to remember. So sine and cosine are both the same, and when we did... 30 and 60, remember we saw that sine of 30 was a half and cosine of 60 was a half because they were just opposite triangles of each other. And then cosine of 30 was root 3 over 2 and sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. So those also matched. And then our last one was tan of 30 is 1 over root 3 and tan of 60 is root 3 over 1. So those just were reversed of each other as well. So those were our basic trig ratios, and then what we do, remember, is we take those trig ratios and apply it to any angle, and then we just basically worry about the reference angle. So this first one, we got cosine of 330, so remember 330 would be down here. That means we have a reference angle of 30, so cosine of 330 would be the exact same thing as cosine of 30, which is root 3 over 2, and then we use our cast rule to figure out the sine. So in that quadrant, C is positive, so we should have positive root 3 over 2. For sine of 135, that one's going to be in this quadrant. And our reference angle will be 45, so sine of 45 is 1 over root 2. And in the S quadrant, it's positive, so we're done with that one as well. And our last one, tan of 240, that would give us a reference angle of 60. So tan of 60 is root 3 over 1, or just root 3. And we're in the T quadrant, so it's also positive. So we have no negatives for any of these three. Okay? The same thing works in reverse, and sometimes these are a little trickier, but we basically do the same thing. So here we have cosine of A is negative root 3 over 2. So if we look on our list where cosine is root 3 over 2, that gives us 30 degrees. So we know our reference angle has to be... 30 degrees. What we don't know is which quadrants it's in. It could be in any of the four quadrants. They would all give us root 3 over 2. So what we want to do is look at the question again. You can see it's negative root 3 over 2. So then we know for sure it's got to be in the quadrants that cosine is negative, which would be S or T. So that means if our reference angle is 30, that means our actual angles we're looking for are 180 minus 30, which would be 150 or 180 plus 30, which is 210. So we actually get two locations mm -hmm. for each of these angles. So let's do the same thing for B. So here sine B equals root 2 over 2. So we know that's 45 degrees for our reference angle. And we want to figure out, okay, where's which quadrants is sine positive? So that'll be our S or A. So 45 is a good answer. And then our S would be 180 minus 45, which would be 135. And our last one, tan C is negative 1 over root 3. We know that occurs at 30 degrees. And where is tan going to be negative? So that would be our S quadrant and our C quadrant. So if we put 30 degrees as a reference angle, in the S one it would be 150, 180 minus 30. And in the C quadrant we'd have 360 minus 30, which would give us 330. So it works the same, but you just go backwards. So we're basically always connecting our cast to get our two angles with our trig ratio to figure out whether it's a 30, 45, or 60. So our last topic then is we're going to look at some other special angles that do show up, and these are the ones that are right on the, right on the line. So we're looking at 30, 45, and 60, and instead of those ones, we're going to be looking at 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, and so on. The trick with these is we don't really get a triangle. So if I drew a, a 90 degree angle or a little grid, and let's suppose we're at 90 degrees, so we're actually looking for a line right on the 90, so we wouldn't actually get a triangle, but let's imagine drawing one. So if we actually had one like that, we're actually going over 0 and up 1. So if we did Pythagorean theorem, 0 squared plus 1 squared would still be 1. So if we actually do Sokotoa in this case, your sine would be 1 over 1, so sine of 90 would be 1. Our cosine would be 0 over 1, which is 0. And our tan would be 1 over 0, which is 
undefined. It can't divide by zero. So for all of these locations, whether they're 90, 180, 270, you're always going to get answers like 0, 1, or negative 1. I missed that on there. So 0, 1, negative 1, or undefined. And we can sometimes say undefined. We can call it infinite and just use the little infinity symbol. That works totally fine. So the trick is how do we figure out which is which? Well, it's pretty tough to memorize them, so it's easier just to use your calculator to help out. So on your calculator, if you type in sine of 0, you get 0. And if we type in sine of 180, you also get 0. If we try cosine of 0, we get 1. If we try cosine of 180, we get negative 1. If you try tan of 0, you get 0. If you try tan of 180, you also get 0. So you can see with these cases, we sort of get matching pairs. So anytime you get an angle, so let's suppose I gave you it was 90 degrees, and we're asking what is it going to be, or let's do 180. If I was asking what if it was 180 and I asked cosine, basically on your calculator, just type in cosine of 180, and it'll give you negative 1. Then all you want to do is double check the one across from it. So if you go cosine of 0, you get positive 1. So those ones aren't the same, so you're only going to get one solution. But if we tried sine of 180, you get 0. Try the one across from it, sine of 0, you also get 0. So we still get our two answers. So just like before, often you get two answers. You're only, in this case, going to get one if it's cosine, if it's 0 or 180 if cosine, those are different answers, but the rest match perfectly. And the same thing will apply if we deal with 90 or 270. So if we go sine of 90, you're going to get 1. If you go sine of 270, you get negative 1. So those two are different. If we try cosine of 90, we get 0. Cosine of 270, we also get 0. And then our last one, if we try tan of 90, you go, you get undefined or error. And tan of 270 is also error. So like I said, if you're not sure about these, just use your calculator. So if I gave you something like sine of 180, just type that in on your calculator, and you'll get 0. If I ask what angle, so sine of what angle would give us negative 1, on your calculator, go second sine of negative 1. It'll give you 270 degrees. Or they might write it as negative 90 on your calculator which is the same location, but always in that case, if 270 works, you want to just double check to see if the 90 works. So if you go sine of 90, it gives you positive one, so that, that's it. So in this case, you'd only get one solution. So you can always work forwards or backwards, depending on whichever. So let's try one more. So if I gave you, if I said the cosine of some angle is zero, and I'm asking what are the possible locations, so you'd go second cos of zero, and that gives you 90 degrees. So we know 90 works. So what we want to do is all we want to do is check if 270 works. So on your calculator, go cos 90, just to double check. So if you go cosine of 90 degrees, it equals, it gives you 0. And if you go cosine of 270, check it. It also gives you 0, so we do get two different answers. So if we tried sine, equals 0. Same thing, go second sign on your calculator of 0, and it would give you 0 degrees. So 0 works, good chance 180 also works, so double check both of those. So sine of 0 is 0, sine of 180 is also 0. Okay, if we had one where I said cosine of A is negative 1, on your calculator go second cos negative 1, and that gives you 180. And if 180 works, we should try 0 across from it. So if you go cosine of 0, that gives us positive 1. So 0 doesn't work. In this case, we'd have just the 180. Let's try one more. If I gave you sine of an angle equals positive 1, go second sine of 1 gives us 90. So once again, 270 may also work. So let's try that. Go sine of 270. That gives us negative 1, so that one doesn't work, so we just get one answer for that one. So you just work backwards just like you normally would, and this would be the same thing if I gave you tan, I didn't do any tans, but if I gave you tan of A equals 0, same thing, go second tan of 0, that gives us 0 degrees, try the 180, tan of 180, that's also 0, so in this case they're both, both good as well. And that's it for trigonometry.